Hi guys, today we're going to be taking a look at a uh, $25 boroscope, endoscope camera that I found on eBay. I'll put a link in the description. Um, maybe I can find like an actual brand name or something on this. Just a, just a Wi-Fi endoscope camera. No, uh, no brand name at all. But just got this today, so let's take a look. It's uh, pretty basic. All right, let's speed this along. You get a USB cord, you get the Wi-Fi module, the camera obviously, a mirror and some tweezer looking things, get the software install disk, you got the suction cups which are supposed to let you stick that to things but don't really work. You have the manual and poorly translated English but hey, it gets the job done so you can't really complain. Here's the first engine we're looking at. It's a Lifen 125cc engine. I bought it brand new on eBay for a project I'm still working on. It's had maybe a total of five minutes of runtime with, you know, just a little bit of revving, just make sure it runs and everything. So it's very clean on the inside. I'm going to try to kick it over. You can see the piston moving up and down inside. Also see the cross hatching on the inside of the cylinder walls. Here's a look at the spark plug, one of the spark plugs from the Jeep. Looks pretty good to me. Alright, we're just going to look at a few still photos that I took using the camera. This is the inside of the motorbike engine, dirt bike engine. Like I said, it's very clean because it's only had maybe five minutes of run time. You can see the cross hatching, you can see the piston. Here's inside the Jeep engine. It is a straight six four liter with about 214,000 miles unfortunately these are not very good pictures as you can see on the right is the piston and on the left is the cylinder wall there's a close-up of the cross hatching I think it looks very good considering its mileage as you can see on the left is the piston and on the right is the cylinder the cylinder walls as you can see, the carbon buildup is very normal for its age. And there's more uh, close up of the cross hatching. Overall, I'd say for the price I paid, this is a very good camera. This is using the right angle mirror included in the kit to get a good shot of the intake and exhaust valves. As you can see, the white valve right there. Some quick research indicates that the white exhaust valves could be caused by a lean burning condition or could be simply the additives used in today's fuel, such as ethanol and the like. Uh, feel free to drop a comment, let me know what you guys think, as it would be greatly appreciated. And you can see the two valves protruding into the cylinder. The middle is the cylinder walls and on the left is the piston. And here's a short video I took of just focusing in on the text on the instruction manual. Unfortunately, I had to uh, email this video to myself and open it on my computer. When I tried to watch the video on my iPhone, it was very bad quality. I hope you guys found this video useful. Don't forget to leave a like and comment if it was helpful to you. I'll leave links for the camera in the description. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.